Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Preetam. In this video of PTC Creo Parametric Tutorial, we will talk about how we can create a 3D curve inside PTC Creo Parametric. So without ado, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I have already opened this PTC Creo Parametric session. Now let's click here on new and now select part. I'm gonna keep all these values as it is. And now we are in PTC model environment and now here we are in ptc creo part modeling environment now in order to create 3d curve what i'm going to do is i'm going to create 3d points first okay now in order to create 3d curve first of all let's explore where exactly this curve tool exists so if you are in model tab you just need to go here in datum and there we go here we can see this curve tool is available and here we have got four different method of creating curve in ptc creo although there are many other but inside this dedicated curve tool there are four options the easiest one i would say is curve through point although a lot of people also utilize this curve through equation uh, method so you just need to you know um, enter your equation and that's how we can create curve but in this one are we going to talk about how we're going to create curve through point in order to create curve through point first of all uh, let's click here on point and select the second option which is offset coordinate system now i'm gonna select my coordinate system now here we can see the datum point dialog box appear now we need to select the reference coordinate system so here we have got our default coordinate system let's select that and now keep the coordinate system type value as cartesian and now simply add the values and now create 3d point by simply specifying the value in xyz axis so let me quickly provide these values in order to create new point simply click on next row and you can also provide value in minus now there we go here we can see we have generated few points in 3d now let me click here on datum curve and now curve through point now here what we need to do we need to select our first point from where the curve will start and then uh, without pressing any button keep on selecting these points now you also have few more option or customization available like end condition you can define end condition of these curve you can make it tangent you can leave it free so um you know based on your need you can define different different uh, condition for example you want to make your curvature uh, starting as tangent so you can select that and now you need to specify the ent entity where you want this curve to be tangent let's say i want the curve to be tangent to this plane so i can click this but since this is too far away, I guess that's why it is showing an error. So let's uncheck it and let's try to find some suitable, you know, item which I can mention as tangent. So here we have got different, different uh, end condition. So you can specify a certain entity as, you know, um, through which your curve is tangent. You can keep it curvature continuous. You can keep it normal. So if you are keeping it normal, then you need to define certain uh, entity through which your curvature is normal. So like that, you have different different option. So uh, you can select any entity. So based on our need, we can define different different end condition. So that's how guys we can create this curve. And not only end condition, you also have an option to uh, you know to specify the way you want this curve. In between different different points for example i want this curve to be straight line instead of spline from point one to point two so i can select straight line that's how you guys we can even customize the curve in between two points and then you also have furthermore option to specify the fillet value so let's say uh, i also want this curve not only to be straight but should have certain radius okay that's how guys we can create 3d curve inside ptc creo parametric 
That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next one. Till then take care and bye bye.